Hi there. Now for this question, we're told that a curve has an equation y equals x squared minus 4x plus 4 and a line has equation y equals mx where m is a constant. And what we've got to do is for the case where m equals 1, the curve and the line intersect at the points a and b. And we've got to find the coordinates of the midpoint of a, b for four marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. So for this part then, we've got the two equations. Let's just write them down. We've got y equals x squared then minus 4x plus 4. And when m equals 1, we've just got the equation y equals x. And what we've got to do if we're to find the point of intersection of these two curves is to solve them simultaneously. And there's many ways that you can do this. One way would be to, say, subtract the equations. That would eliminate the y's. Or you could, say, substitute, for instance, equation 2 into equation 1. Or equate them, if you like. And what that would lead to is that in place of the y, we'd have x here. So we'd have x equals x squared minus 4x plus 4. And what we've got then is a quadratic equation. So we need to rearrange this to make it equal to 0. So we'll take x from both sides. That would give us x squared. And then we'd have minus 4x minus another x, which would be minus 5x. And then plus the 4, and that will equal 0. And this quadratic equation factorizes. We'll have two factors there. And we get an x here and an x here, giving us x squared. And then we're going to have a minus 4 and a minus 1. Minus 4 times minus 1 gives us the plus 4 on the end. And then minus 4x minus another x gives us the minus 5x. So that means that each of these factors then would equal 0. x minus 4 could equal 0. Or the other factor, x minus 1, could equal 0. And if that's the case, then x could equal 4 if we add 4 to both sides here. And if we have 1 to both sides here, we get x equals 1. So we know that y must equal x. So we can see that from 2, okay, that if we substitute when x is 4 into here, y would be 4. And when x is 1 into here, y would equal 1. So from 2, we can see that when x equals 4, y equals 4. And we've got another solution. Or when x equals 1, y will equal 1. So what this means is that our points A and B, where the line crosses the curve here, those points A and B are going to be at 4, 4 and 1, 1. Now if we were to take a sketch of this graph, not that you have to, but this is what we've actually got. We've got the curve x squared minus 4x plus 4, parabola like this. And you've got your line y equals 1x, or just simply y equals x. And if I said that a was the point 1, 1, and b was the point 4, 4, then we're looking for the midpoint here. And to get the midpoint between any two points, all we have to do is take the mean of the x-coordinates and the mean of the y-coordinates. So we could say that, therefore, the midpoint... OK, midpoint, let's say, of AB. Well, it's going to equal the mean of the x coordinates. So we do 1 plus the 4. And we divide that by 2. And it's going to be the same for the y coordinates. 1 plus 4 divided by 2. And we end up with the coordinates 2 and a half, 2 and a half. I'm going to leave them as 5 over 2. 5 over 2. Alright, 